Well, hello everybody and hello. welcome. Yes. We're here at Hayfield in Derbyshire. <laughs> we are. Oh, I've remembered. Uh, we are here and very sunburned, I'm afraid. Well, yes. you will have seen mm. the special announcement and uh, today would have been a working day. So we've had a glorious day mm. sat here in the beautiful, beautiful sunshine. Yes. And you can see behind us, let's give you a bit of a more of a view. Um, you can see behind us there, there's Nikita Chloe and uh, all the beautiful scenery mm. that's behind us. Um, this is a, well, it's an excellent campsite actually, isn't it? Yep. So many nice walks you can walk to about. I think it's about three or four pubs, the shops, mm. and it's all along by 15 minute walk by a little stream. So yeah. Really lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. So many, yeah. you've got the Pennine and Way, so many walks direct from the site, different footpaths and, and it's, it's, everything. Mm. Well, it's made better by the sunshine. Yes. Because it, I mean, it could look, be bleak, I yeah, suppose. It could be not. bleak. It could be living at Bleak House. <laughs> yeah, bleak House, um, yeah. But let me give you a view of what we see as we look out on the campsite. Let's just turn you around and show you what we've got here. So, this is where we are. We're, we're parked here, and you'll see that... Um, <laughs> We've got all and sundry outside, and this is the first time we've really been in a position where we can sort of sit outside like this at a campsite. We don't very often uh, get the chance to do that. Um, we've we've got all our stuff packed up in the uh, garage in the van. There, it's sort of over full because we've still got. A whole load of stuff that we didn't sell yet but getting back to the uh, the campsite here they've got um, behind the main pitches and that you know you, when you see you've got all load of hard standings all up one side and then you've got um, hard standing coming around and back down the other side there and a couple of hard standings just as you come in the entrance but behind all these hard standings, they've got the, uh, I suppose they're called glamping pods, um, just down there. So, and that's quite a nice area. There's a little pathway that runs in between the hard standing and the glamping pods where you can walk in. <laughs> the little entrance to the pathway is uh, where we parked. But I'm just gonna, just gonna walk down there and show you why we thought that was a uh, pitch. And I'm just gonna show you. Um, you, know, you can see where we are, we've got little people. And the good thing is, we've got this middle grass section here that people can actually camp on. And we've got a little motorhome parked in there as well. But when we first arrived, we came sort of down this way, um, we came up that road there and we came in and we saw we saw this big pitch um, over here. And you'll see why we thought it was a pitch, it just looks like. I mean the pitches are quite narrow as you can see but then we thought this, this roadway was a pitch and we actually I actually reversed into there um, <laughs> because it looked big and long so that we could fit the motorhome in it. Um, but it's such a, I mean you'll see, I mean, apart from the wind noise where the wind's blowing around, you'll see that it's a, it's a really peaceful, beautiful sight. Um, and I'd recommend I absolutely recommend it because one of the one of the big things is you know we we arrived here at about um, I think it was nine o'clock on uh, Monday evening um, we hadn't booked we were just going to pitch up uh, park in the 
um, in the usual late night um, arrivals bay and uh, sort of check in in the morning and pay for the overnight thing. But when we got there, no overnight, there's no late arrival bay, but um, one excellent thing was that the uh, the gate is uh, code operated and when I went to look in at reception to see if anyone was around I knew I sort of knew there wouldn't be but there might have been instructions um, there were just a set of envelopes for people that had arrived late and that had booked but interestingly enough a set of instructions for people that arrived late that had not booked now if that's not excellent customer service I don't know what is so we've got one of those envelopes out it had the barrier code on it um, but the warden was around uh, he saw me sort of mooching around reception and getting an envelope and he came out with a, a massively welcoming smile and you know said oh well you know just come in get yourself pitched up he opened the gate for us and uh, sort of directed us down to this end of the site to, to pitch up, which we did. And uh, he said, well, just come back in the morning and you, know, you can check in and sort out the money and things like that. It was um, massively refreshing to have that sort of customer service happening. And you don't often see that around um, campsites. And, you know, I, need, I know the Camping and Caravan Club is called the Friendly Club. And if they use this campsite as an example of friendliness, they would not fail because it is really, really nice. All the people here are nice. Clearly, um, the season's just started, so this uh, campsite has just reopened for the season. Um, they're doing little jobs all over the place, but they've got time to stop and have a chat and pass the time of day and give you directions to the to the village and where things are. Um, also, the, the little leaflet um, place that they have, a little room, sort of a laundry room and, and leaflet area, in the, right in the front of the book, when you open it up to see what's what, there's a big um, sort of marker pen note that says, all pubs are dog friendly and the tea room is too. So, you know, for people with dogs, and why wouldn't people with dogs come here? Um, if you're watching this and you've got a dog and you go motorhoming, here is the place to be. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, it's, you know, you get a few aeroplanes going across, you might have heard a couple of those, but it's so, so nice, so peaceful. I think it's a good place for walking, um, but do not try to bring your caravan. It ain't good. <laughs> the roads are narrow and windy, um, and getting this, uh, 8.7 metre uh, van through those was was a challenge um, but not too much I mean I'm you know I'm pretty novice at driving things this big and uh, it it wasn't that bad you know we get into a panic and then we calm down and just get on with it um, so what else is happening today we haven't got enough room in the garage um, so let's just show you what we've what we've got going on. <laughs> there, there it is. You'll see uh, that's the awning. We've got the wet box. I keep a wet box with the hose and stuff like that. Um, and we've got everything else is just jammed in right through. But we do have too much stuff now. Um, I've got these these two chairs down here. I can't fit in so they're gonna to have to go in the habitation when we get moving we have also got these two green chairs that we'd previously said we were going to get rid of because they're actually not that comfortable and we've got two other red chairs the director chairs that are jammed at the back of there we've got two of these tables um, 
<laughs> so, and you know, things like the roof light, brand new, never used, um, still in a packet <laughs> that came out of uh, the Hymer actually when we fitted the aircon to that. Well, we've got all sorts of other stuff, um, you know. I understand at the Auto Trail Rally there's going to be a bring and buy sale. Um, I'm really looking forward to that and I'm hoping that's, I'm hoping it's like a car boot sale and you don't just donate stuff. Um, if you do, I've, I'm, yeah, we've got some stuff to donate, um, but I don't want to just give everything away. We, <laughs> we're going to need some, some money coming in. Uh, so there's lots of bits and pieces that I'm going to be putting on eBay if we if we can't get rid of them at the Auto Trail Rally. Um, we have sold a few bits, like a couple of hundred quid's worth over the past month, um, and uh, you know I think we'll just continue to do that. Um, Wendy's preparing some food for us. Uh, in this early evening, we we'll just go in. Oh, she's actually doing Pippin's uh, dinner. So I've gone on long enough, Wend. So. Oh, look at me, Samba. Samba, oh, yeah, we've had a nice day, haven't we? God. Anyway. So I wish I. Yeah. Say goodbye, Wend. Goodbye, Wend. Say goodbye, Steve. Goodbye, Steve. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Yeah.